Hello and welcome to Election Day. I'm Evan Lucas for Go Markets, and please, as always, please, a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of which relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Markets does not know your personal scenario nor your personal financial goals, and therefore, none of which relied upon as any form of advice at all. It's just general in nature only. Welcome to Election Day. First and foremost, you need to go through the polls of shut what's going to happen. So at about 11 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, daylight savings time in fact, you will start to see some results coming through. To be honest with you, that's not what we need to concentrate on. It's the seven states. So I've got this chart here to show you something very clearly. We are unlikely to know the results of probably five out of the seven states by the close of business today. So Georgia, North Carolina, they count very fast. They are likely to be out. And if they do show Trump winning or at least winning those states, be aware he could declare off the back of it. There are certainly signs that he's gonna do that. We then need to come to the top three and having a look at what goes on at Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and also Michigan. Now, Michigan's interesting. It's asking the question, is it gonna be faster than 2020? It took about three days in 2020 for Michigan to properly declare for Biden. Could be the same in terms of what we see today. The next one to look at is Pennsylvania. It is the big one and everything that has been sort of sowing don't forget, Pennsylvania does not start counting postal votes until the close of its polls today. And that's why it's going to be late. It's just a question of how late will it be in that space. Considering how tight the polls have been showing, it could also take weeks, which brings what goes on in Wisconsin. Wisconsin actually, in my view now, is becoming the state that matters because if Trump takes it, it's probably game over. If he doesn't, then it probably means that he's in real trouble. And they could actually come out today and get that done. That's the one to watch. Because then you can see also in the other two, Arizona and Nevada, they will take days. And they don't just take days because it's tight. They take days because that's how long it takes every single time. They are one of the slowest two states of counting out there. And he also, in Trump this is, needs that. So just keep an eye on it. That's what we're looking for today. They're the areas, whether or not any of those states call early and who they call for. Which brings on to the trade, what's going to happen? Interestingly enough, it's actually watching the Aussie US pair. And the reason for that, the Aussie is under real pressure. A Trump presidency will see higher taxes for China. And the Aussie's the, obviously the proxy for that. Watch it shift around, not much, but enough off the back of states declaring. That's the one that's gonna be quite interesting when you look at that pair. The next thing to also be aware of is the House. The 435 seats in the House are up for re-election. Again, could swing things around. If the Democrats retake the House, then all of his policies may not get in. So there is so much going on today with regards to where it is. So keep uh, you know, light-fingered, keep watching what's going on, have as much information in front of you as you can because today is gonna to be fascinating. There's no doubt about that. The other thing I'll say to you, it won't be over by the end of today. And I'll keep doing these videos to keep you informed as much as I can. Enjoy election day, it's gonna be fascinating. It has got a long way to go. And whatever happens, don't worry about that. Just remember, your trading's the most important thing and therefore being nimble is the only way to look forward.